Mr. Hello, Mr. Juan. Hey, Sir Bet. Yes. Okay. I I didn't like uh, the content for last class. <laughs> it's <was laughs> tough. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's so academic, like uh, mm -hmm. it's it's hard to make the topic uh, fun. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but you you did a good job with the uh, the writing. Yeah, uh, it's. I was familiar with uh, this um, contrasting. What did you mm -hmm. call contrasting? Contrasting words. Uh -huh. Yeah, contrasting words. But in terms of um, using them, it was useful. For example, I I didn't understand. On the contrary, mm -hmm. I think yeah. I think I did I did use it correctly. Yes, you did. Um, that. Um, Exercise or that lesson plan I showed you, it was from Hungary. It was designed in Hungary. Yes. So it's possible that the person who designed it made it made an error about using the word using on the contrary. Because I, I agree with you. If you're using on the contrary, you should um, talk about something that's opposite or different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Miguel. Oh, Miguel here. Hello, people. <laughs> yeah, Miguel. I want some. Uh, let's let's make a deal. Okay. Actually, actually, me, you, and Servette. Okay. I I want some Colombian coffee for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 some Mira coffee, Servette. Oh. Okay. So okay. I I'm willing I'm willing to make a trade. Uh. Philippines coffee for your country's coffee. Oh. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's, let's what do you do think? It. it would be great. Yeah. Be great. Being like a you know a little Christmas present, um, <laughs> not not too expensive. I I don't think. No, it is not expensive. Okay. What well, what we still have twenty days, so we we have time to to think about it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Laura. Join the hangout. All right. Yeah. Uh, sir, I have a question for you. Uh -huh. Me? Okay. Uh, sir, it, sir, it. Yes. Sir, but have you seen Rene? Have you seen Rene? Have I seen Rene today? Yeah. Yes. The last class. He was with with us. With me too. No, you were in the last class, right? No, the I class wasn't. before I this. Ah, oh, the class before this. Oh, he was there. Okay. Yes. I'm needing him so bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. You mean uh, which Rene? Rene Landa? Mexican uh, Rene? Yeah, the Mex. Yeah, the Mexican yeah. Rene. Okay. Laura Laura's busy. Hi, Kayum. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Kayum. What's up, Kayum? Yeah, I'm here. Hey. What's Welcome. Yeah. Hey. All right. You're you're with your brother? Yeah, man. Okay. With my friend. All right. You're, you're with okay. Your hey. Friend, friend. Hey. Hello, <laughs> friend. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, well, let's just uh, free chat for a, a minute, a few minutes. Uh, maybe some other students will join. Sure. Uh, okay. This class I'm teaching uh, academic and TOEFL essay writing. More. Interesting stuff, Servette. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what what types of exams are do you guys have to take as far as English in your countries? What? What, what, what type of what types of exams? Like for, um, let's say, if you wanted to study English in the U.S. or 
if you have some kind of English exam for um, work or something related to that, what what type of the exam? The same way you get to write essays, letters, active passive voice, narrations, tenses, mm -hmm. and text stuff from chapters. Mm -hmm. Well, the th this class I prepared some TOEFL. TOEFL questions. Do you all know TOEFL? Yeah. No, I will do not. Okay, TOEFL is a test of English as a foreign... TOEFL, yeah, 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 uh -huh. I know, I know. Kayo, Kayo. Yeah. Uh, would you would you mind taking your microphone a little far from your mouth? Sure, sure. Is okay. it okay now? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Yeah, TOEFL. So, um, what what do you know about TOEFL, Kayum? Yeah. What do you know about the TOEFL exam? TOEFL is a test of exa English. Uh, what? Uh, mm hmm. TOEFL and IELTS. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, TOEFL is. Um, what should do TOEFL if he wants to leave out for foreign to study? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it TOEFL is a, a test. It's created in the in the U.S. Yeah. Um, and it tests your it tests English proficiency for non-native speakers. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And, um, you know, most people take this exam to get into colleges or universities where English is, is required. Right. So, um, it, it's a very important test because it, um, is required by some government agencies um, if you want to get a scholarship, um, if you want to get certified in, in certain um, um, careers, you need a TOEFL score, a good TOEFL score, or a licensing board, you need a good TOEFL score, and then about a hundred or so universities um, require a TOEFL score in order to um, to get accepted. It's the most respected really, Miguel. Can, um, mm -hmm. can we use it as a certificate like maybe I'm not planning to I don't have opportunity to study at, uh, at another in another country but I don't need this certificate but can I use it as a I know, for example, I know that much English. Is it my? Is this like a proof? Um, well, if I I think it's really necessary for university study, and maybe for a job. Let's say if you're in Turkey, mm -hmm. and you're applying to an international company or an American mm -hmm. or a British-based company. If you were applying to these companies, then you can show them on your resume, okay, I have blah, blah, blah score on mm -hmm. the TOEFL test, and mm -hmm. this would more than likely help you mm -hmm. if, if you wanted to get that job. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, like Anjana was saying, she's taking the IELTS test. And this That test is also... Um, are required to attend some um, colleges and universities. So uh, IELTS and TOEFL are quite similar, but the design of the test is different. That's the um, big difference. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're just going to uh, talk about some writing. And then I wanted to have you guys actually try and um, do the um, do like a little practice exam the problem is with the TOEFL test um, 
you're either given 20 minutes or you're, you're given 20. Okay, for TOEFL, there's two parts to the writing section. The first is Hello. the TOEFL IBT. TOEFL IBT writing section. So you're given 20 minutes to write uh, 150 to 225 words on a certain topic. Can you hear me, guys? Hey, I can hear you. Uh, yeah. Yusef. Hey, Yusef. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for joining. Okay, no problem. Okay, and then the second part of the writing section you're given one topic. You're given one topic. You have 30 minutes. And you have to write uh, 300 to 350 words oh my God. using uh, four to five paragraphs. Do we need to write essay? No, no, no. I'm not gonna. Well, I, I do. I would like for you all to try some writing um, today, but you know, s since some of you are not familiar with the TOEFL test, or um, maybe some of you have have not um, practiced uh, formal writing very much, I just wanted to give you some tips on on how to do academic writing very well whether it's for TOEFL or IELTS or any type of uh, academic writing. Um, yeah, I'm taking so, a course about academic writing. Yes. So, um, you know, I, I have a lot of experience in writing because I do a lot of SEO content writing online, which is uh, search engine optimization um, mm -hmm. SEO writing is what people do to what businesses use to get uh, high rankings on Google's search engine. Um, this mm -hmm. is very important because um, people want to be at the top of the search engine um, list and how and one technique for doing that other than paying Google is to create content that is optimized to fall in Google search engine. So let's say you're looking for um, English lessons. You type English lessons into Google search and you will have a ton of uh, companies that pop up. Um, most of these companies pay Google but then you might be searching for a particular English topic such as um, how to use the word and properly okay alright so now I've created I've created uh, an article that talks about how to use and properly and this article might pop up at the top of Google search. So now you're reading my article and maybe at the end of the article I have my business name. Let's say I'm Colingo and at the end of the article I will say to learn more about and and how to improve your English click here on Colingo's website and then it will take you to the Colingo website and maybe you will join and become a member and this is what businesses do to um, get optimized on Google. Anyway, back to our topic, um, academic writing. First I want to explain to you a simple format I always use for uh, writing. I think this is good for TOEFL, it's good for IELTS. Um, whenever you're giving a writing, whenever you're given a writing topic, I al you should always follow this outline. Okay, so the first one will be introduction. Body. All right, your main body. And then within your main body, 
you give uh, example one, example two, and then in the last part, your conclusion. Okay. Um, in your examples, you want to provide examples along with details. So, and then you also want to think about the word count. So, if if the test requires you to write, let's say for TOEFL um, part two of the TOEFL test, you have 300 to 350 words. So you should think to yourself, okay. I've got 300 words. How do I do this? All right. Maybe I will use 100 words for my introduction. And then let's see. Okay, I've got 300 words, 100 words introduction. Now I've got 200 words left. So maybe I'll use 150 words for my main body. And then that leaves me with 50 to 100 words left for my conclusion. Okay, so I think this is very important. You should uh, count exactly how many words you um, need for each part of your writing. Um, for example, um, let's say the writing topic is uh, um, children. Okay. All right. Um, yes. Yeah, so you have to write a 250-word essay for IELTS on Jenna. So if I have a 250-word essay, maybe I will dedicate uh, 50 words for my introduction, uh, 200 words for the main body, and then. Um, Conclusion would be uh, 50 words. So then, as you're writing, you can do your introduction. So let let's say the IELTS topic is um, uh, what's it? What's the topic? Um, people people who live in the country are happier than people who live in the city. Uh, give your opinion. Give your opinion with details and examples. Okay. So now you know your topic. Okay. Introduction, 50 words. So People who live in the country are happier than people who live in the city because, and then you you state you give your opening statement, and then you would um, create 50 words to, to start that introduction. Then you would go into your main body. Your main body should um, talk about some points that you stated in your introduction paragraph. Um, I, I won't go into detail about that now. I prepared some essays for us to take a look at. These are TOEFL e essays on Jenna, but like I said, um, TOEFL is very similar to IELTS. Okay? So, um,. Give me a second to share this one. Okay. If you can't see it, here's the link.
So uh, here's the question. Do you agree or disagree with the following statements? Only people who earn a lot of money are successful. Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. Okay. So um, this part would be your introductory paragraph. This is your introductory sentence. Okay. Main body. Okay. Main body. This is also the main body. This part. And then conclusion paragraph. So you know it's the conclusion paragraph because it starts out in conclusion. So this is a good way to end your 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 article, your writing, by beginning your paragraph with in conclusion. And then in the conclusion paragraph, you're going to restate what you talked about in the main body. Okay. So um, let's look at this question, um, and then I, I will have you all read it. And um, if you have any questions about um, how it's structured or what needs to be included in the answer, then let's talk about this, okay? All right, so um, let's start with Yusef, next Servette, Kayum, Miguel, and Anjana. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yusef, can you read this first paragraph here? Okay. Mm -hmm. It is said that money makes the world go round. We spend the majority of our, of our waking hour at work, earning a living, providing for our families, and saving for our re retirement. Although money, no, no doubt, it plays... Uh, Okay. Although money no doubt plays a critical role in determining the quality and the nature of our lifestyles. In my opinion, the, si the size of one's pay, 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 pay equity is not a measure of one's success in life. The basis of my views, my views are philosophical, social, and personal. Philosophically, success can be defined in myriad ways. For some, success is an external concept to be measured in terms of high income, huge bank balances, fancy cars, expensive mansions, luxurious holidays, and so on. However, in my view, success is a reflection of internal human qualities, such as compassion, kindness, honesty, understanding, and more. By this definition, the mere fact of earning a high income does not determine or define success. Okay, thanks, Servet. I okay. can't find the file. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, okay. So where should I start from? Uh, socially. Socially, okay. Socially, success depends on how we treat other human beings. Do we reg do we regard other with respect, or do we impose with our our will on them? Uh, we are mindful of their needs and oh, can't see can't see a screen. Okay, can you see it now? Okay, 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 okay. Do we encourage and support oh, again? Do we encourage or support our friends, family, and communities, or do we insist they they only follow the path we think best? Uh, it's it is clear that a critical aspect of success lies in the answers answers to such questions, for they reveal the quality of relationships we share with others, other fellow human beings. Personally, success can can only be self-defined. My idea of success uh, may not be the same as another per, uh, another's person. Another's view, vision. Uh, this is can't see. Okay.
can see it. Okay. Uh, this as should be. This is as it should be. Each of us is a product of diverse. Diverse. Diverse social, cultural, economical, political, and religious, religious and ideal ideological influences. We should add when we. His brain is getting away. Can't see the screen. Okay. Um. No. Okay. Uh, when we add to to that mix the when we add to that mix the free will that we each of us exercise we we can clearly we can clearly understand how we of us how how each of us fashion his her or his or her own express own aspirations of what he, what we consider to be success in our own lives in the conclusion success is a concept which can be interpreted in a million in a million different ways each individual's vision adds to the richest richness of the of our world and makes our planet more del delightful amazing colorful and best place to live okay all right so 355 words okay good <laughs> okay all right so now based on the outline i gave you guys um, what is the introduction topic of this person's essay he is defining the the success mm -hmm. the viewpoint for the success okay because he, yeah he says um in the first paragraph, it is said that uh, money makes the world go round, mm -hmm. and money plays a critical role in determining the quality and quali quality and nature of our lifestyles. Okay, and then he states his own opinion. In my opinion, the size of one's paycheck is not a measure of one's success in life. Okay. The basis of his views are philosophical, social, and personal. So let's let's look at what he did in the introduction. He gave an introductory sentence. Money makes the world go round. So this catches your attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then he tells about um, what people do to make money. We spend the majority of our waking hours at work. Providing for family, saving for retirement. Then he makes a contract. Although money plays a critical role, in my opinion, the size of one's paycheck is not a measure of success in life. Okay. Then he states why he believes this. These ba the basis of my views are philosophical, social personal all right now what he did here is that he organized the writing so that the main body would talk about his three different views he has three views philosophical view a social view and a personal view so if you look here his main body begins with his philosophical view so if you continue down now he's talking about his social view. Last part of the main body, he's talking about his personal view. Then he begins his conclusion paragraph. So if you were to create an outline for this essay, what he did was the introduction. Okay. Yes. He he did his main body to include three paragraphs. So paragraph one. Uh, paragraph one was the philosophical view. Yeah. 
one. I spell that right? I think so. Philosophical view. Um, two. He gave a social, social view. Three, he gave a personal view. And then last, conclusion. Restating the main points of the article. Article. Okay. So um, now you have any e you have an even further breakdown of how to um, create this article using word count. So now um, you said how many words was it, Kayum? Three hundred and fifty-five. Yeah, fifty-five. Three fifty-five. Okay. So um, remember, I said maybe the introduction would be. Um, 50 words, conclusion would be 50 words, so now you have 255 words left, so then maybe you would divide 255 by 3, I don't know how many words that is, where's my calculator, 255 divided by 3, so that's 85 words, Per main body paragraph. Okay, so um, especially for Anjana, since she's doing a writing exam soon, um, I think it's really important if you can do this quickly. You shouldn't spend a lot of time on a writing outline because you're un you're under a, you're having a time test, so. You can't spend a lot of time on this, but it, I think it's good to practice this. Um, if if you're having, if you know you have an essay and it's 300 words or it's 350 words, if you create an outline of um, that topic and break it down into knowing what you're going to talk about and how many words you need, it makes it a lot easier to write on anything, any type of topic. Okay, so um, what I want to do now is I want to give you guys a topic and I want to see if you can create your own outline. Okay. Alright, so here's the topic. Okay, topic is many students choose to attend schools or universities outside their home countries. Why do some students study abroad? Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. Okay, um, so can each of you show me an outline that you could create? This is the TOEFL test, so um, you will have 300 to 350 words. Okay. Um, can you show me how you would create an outline using this sample question? If you can type it in the chat box, okay. Hi, uh, Farhad, and yeah, it's only Farhad. Okay, hello, Farhad, you there? No. Okay. Hmm.
By outline teacher, you mean like just introduction and the main points or? Right, introduction, uh, main body with your main points, and then conclusion. Complete essay, not just outline. Mm -hmm. Is anyone confused? Can I start like this? Um, we can question the importance or we can det determine the um, education or we can then we can each paragraph no okay. Well, I'll, I'll give you an example. So if I were writing on this topic, I would start with my introduction. And then... Introduce, have, we can introduce to education, then importance of education. Okay, so yeah. Uh, so then each paragraph, another reasons of to choose this studying abroad or mm -hmm. yeah, different there's, reasons. Right, there's several reasons um, you can choose for studying abroad. Um, maybe one paragraph in your main body could be uh, the importance of education. The second par main body paragraph could be about um, learning new cultures. And then a third one, what's, what's something you get from studying abroad? Learning new cultures better education, what else? Self-improvement okay, about, self about because you are abroad, you are in different culture, you are alone mm -hmm. okay. because of mm -hmm. in terms of uh, growing is important, I think. Okay, right, so um, there, there you have it. There you have your outline. So, um, introduction. Main body, importance. You're going to talk about three things in three different paragraphs. The importance of education, learning new cultures, self-improvement, and then give your conclusion. But remember, in the question, it says use specific reasons mm -hmm. and details to support your answer. So now you should get, think about going back to your main body, going back to A, the importance of education. What can I talk about with the importance of education? Um, improving, improving English skills or improving language skills. Maybe. Mm. Improving language skills. What what's another one, Servet? As far as importance of education. I think we, maybe we can talk about um, without education, we would uh, we would still um, carving stones. Maybe the mm -hmm. first ages, <laughs> because yes, ed yes. with education. Uh, mm -hmm. Human society getting more modern, mm -hmm. producing uh, new tools, uh, basically more modern life is education. Okay. All right. Um, how, how about advancement? Advancement? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, okay, then your second topic, B, learning new cultures. How can you give an example about learning new cultures? Hmm. Maybe ways um, adjusting 
adjusting to a new environment? Maybe uh, in, when you when you are in different culture, mm -hmm. you may learn uh, to look at events in different ways, in different viewpoints, because different societies have different cultures, different religional um, faiths. They look at it in different ways anyway. Different viewpoints. Uh, yes, you can get wider your uh, viewpoint. Okay, and then examples for self-improvement. Mm -hmm. This is this, this can we can count this as a self improvement different viewpoints. Okay, different different viewpoints, but that's based on your second main body paragraph. You, you need three main body paragraphs. So then, your third paragraph would talk about self improvement. How how what what are some examples for self improvement? Um, maybe being alone, being uh, responsible, mm -hmm. being a responsible individual, um, learning to live alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So now you you have details, or you have supporting details for your main body for for uh, each of the three paragraphs in your main body. So now you're ready to write. You can just take each of these points from your outline and then just write away on that topic. Mm -hmm. And then your introduction. Okay, going back to the question, why do some students study abroad? Maybe you can say students like to study abroad for a variety of reasons. Okay, that can be your first sentence. Including um, freedom, self-improvement, and yeah. uh, more, more possibilities that you can have in another country. Right. Or, or using using your outline, you can say, I believe um, three main reasons are, and then you, you can use your outline, um, importance of education, importance of education, learning new cultures, and self improvement. Okay. Hmm. So then now, you know, that, that helps you to create that uh, introduction paragraph. So then once you have at least three or four sentences for your introduction paragraph, then you can continue on to the main body. Okay. And then conclusion paragraph, you will restate what you talked about in the introduction and main body. All right. Mm. I ran all the students away, Servant. <laughs> 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 I think this is a little too advanced. <laughs> what What do you think? Uh, maybe we didn't do this before. Yeah, we, we've never okay. done this before. Mm -hmm. but, you know, um, Kaling with Kalingo, we're trying something different this month yeah. where we're having um, uh, more specific um, topics to learn in class. So, you know, the, the problem is some, you know, beginner students will join the class and, of course, mm -hmm. they um, can't quite follow so well. Um, Let's let me go to hey Vipin. Hi. Hey. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, we're we're talking about uh, TOEFL. Okay. Or ac academic writing. Do you have any experience in academic writing? Uh, 
I'm a bioinformatics engineer. Say, say again. Bioinformatics engineer. Oh, okay. What what type of academic writing have you done uh, before? Uh, it's BTEC. Hmm. And it's only focused on engineering. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Um. And hello, Ali. No, Ali. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um. I, I, I'm going to stay away from this because I think it's a little difficult um, and I can't fit in everything that I want to teach within one hour. So um, we could just talk about uh, writing or exams or if you have any questions about writing. Um, and you were telling about something, TOEFL. Uh -huh. So I was preparing for my GRE. Uh, for my MS in bioinformatics, and uh, you you already took the exam. No, I haven't took the exam. I was trying. I was thinking to do that. Ah, okay. To prepar preparation for GRE, but it's too costly to come in US to uh, do MS in bioinformatics. Mm. G GRE has a writing. Does it have a writing exam? I can't remember. I took the GRE, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, objective optional option. Right. Okay. Yes. All right. But um, uh, it's too costly to uh, uh, to go in a college in US to study to do MS in bioinformatics. We have to spend at least forty to forty-five lakhs. Wow. Well. Um, maybe you can try for a scholarship. But that, for that, we have to score a good marks in GRE also. Mm. So it's uh, a little difficult. Um, it's difficult. What about uh, IELTS or TOEFL? Have you ever had to take this? IELTS is good, and uh, but in India, bioinformatics opportunity is very less. Hmm. In comparison to US and any other country, so after doing the my MS, I, if I want to come to India, I can come because in India we there is not so much exposure of bioinformatics. Okay, and and so, Sarvet, you said you you've never heard of these exams. Yeah, I heard, but I didn't know the detailed information. Okay. And because, um, Go ahead. So I thought I didn't need it because because I don't I won't study abroad. Is it looks impossible? Why why impossible? Because <laughs> because I can't keep my education even in, in my own country. Because of many reasons. <laughs> well, you, you sound pretty educated. I mean, um, you know, and and you, I, I think you work hard to improve. Um, you're always no. here on Colinko, and you know, you you're studying an advanced topic no, there in Turkey. No, so. I should start over again. Just a minute. Okay. Um, well. I, you know, I, I think it's possible, sir. Yeah. It's I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Rod. Oh, Tommy. Hey. Yeah. Nice to meet you again. Yeah. Um, long, long time. What's happening is uh, Sunday and Saturday is. Uh, oh, Tommy. Cannot available is uh, like uh, it was in uh, Koringo English. Conversation oh. or something. Ah, yeah, that the day off? Uh, no, I I was I was there. Let's see, last Saturday and Sunday. Um, Server maintenance something to the uh, chat box. In the, yeah. Yeah, I t I taught in the afternoon, it, uh, Japan time. I had two okay. classes. I we had started two classes. Uh huh. Okay. 
Yeah, I had so two I appreciate it, uh, joint it and, uh, like, a talk. Sure, yeah. sure. Yes. Okay. Um, well, guys, um, this was, um, academic writing, advanced, but, uh, the topic was a little too advanced, I think. So, um, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling, calling a chat box in uh, something trouble. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. yeah, I, I, must, uh -huh. yeah. I must be using uh, like a Google, um, like a Google Chrome. Must mm -hmm. be. But, uh, yeah. Windows, w Windows about uh, like a Google Plus and uh, like a Explorer and uh, I opened that. So no, that's trouble, maybe. Yeah, I think it works best in Chrome since Chrome is made by made by Google. Okay, um, I'm I'm determined to uh, enter mm -hmm. if uh, if could. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, um, okay. Well, glad to see you again, Tommy. Um, okay. Let's see. So so's back. Um, and Dalal, hi Dalal. Okay, hi. All right. Um, well, we're talking about academic writing and uh, tests. Yes, so so is working. Yes. Um, so I would like to know who's had experience taking the TOEIC test or TOEFL test. Um, any test taking? Anyone? No. IELTS, IELTS, so so IELTS, Dalal, IELTS. Okay. All right, and so so and Dalal, why do you, or why have you taken the IELTS test? Okay, applying for a degree. Maybe you're trying to study abroad um, in another country. Okay, yes. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, IELTS and TOEFL are very important exams. Um, Servette and I were here alone for a while. <laughs> so uh, we were talking about uh, different points for, um, you know, doing well in the writing portion of either exam. And um, one thing I always stress, I've, I've taught IELTS classes and TOEFL class, actually I teach a TOEFL class now to a student in China, and um, there's a strategy to each test, so it's important for you to learn test taking strategies, so you not only have the you, you should not only have a good ability to write in English, but I recommend that you also learn test-taking strategies in order to get the score you want. If it's IELTS, of course, everyone's shooting for a 7. Um, okay. So uh, if you want a 7 in the IELTS, then there's certain techniques and things that should be in your writing. It should include things like uh, paraphrasing, using idioms. Um, I can't think off the top of my head, but you know there's several um, parts of speech and, and different types of English language that should be included in your writing. It should be well organized. Um, it should have a clear, clear point. You should have a clear um, introduction statement. You should have a strong conclusion. Um, I uh -huh. I wrote a basic introduction, maybe. <laughs> then, okay. Uh, right. Just introduction, and then we'll explain it. <laughs> it's okay. in the chat box. Yes, I it, see it. Um, yeah. Good, good. I imagine in which situation we would be without education. Still carving wood, using feathers of birds to draw attention to our loved ones, or or using feathers of birds to draw attention to our loved ones. Nobody wants to be in that situation. That's why 
We are all looking for different ways to improve ourselves. Should be ourselves. Uh, yep. Yes. Studying abroad is very trendy in terms of self-improvement, adjusting to a new environment, and gaining different viewpoints to the events. All right, Servette, that was pretty good. And um, you can definitely continue your um, essay based on that introduction that you just wrote. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know what Servette just did, I gave him this IELTS question, sample IELTS question, uh, which says many students choose to attend schools or universities outside their home countries. Why do some students study abroad? Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. Okay, so um, Servet yes. be began the his introduction paragraph in the chat box. You know, he said, "Imagine in what uh, it should be. Imagine what situation we would be in without education. We would still be carving wood or using feathers of birds to draw attention to our loved ones." So th this is a great introduction. It gets you thinking. Hmm, carving wood, using feathers. Okay. Yeah, in African society, you know, there are some uh, tribals using uh, act acting as if some a, a kind of birds to draw the attention of their girlfriends. Yes. Yes. In <laughs> documentaries. <laughs> yes, or the big uh, earrings in the nose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, and uh, you know that's why we're looking for different ways to improve ourselves. Study okay. This this last sentence Servet uses is really good. He says studying abroad is very trendy in terms of self improvement. One, adjusting to a new environment. Two and gaining different viewpoints to the event. So now he has three different points mm -hmm. that he can make the second paragraph, the third paragraph, and the fourth paragraph. So no. his, his next paragraph will talk about self-improvement. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, the, and so uh, he has a, he has set up a great introduction paragraph then he can continue on to um, create a good writing sample or a, a good writing um, essay for the IELTS exam. I think this would also be a great introduction for the TOEFL exam also. It's a good job, good job Servet. Thank you. Uh, I wonder uh, do they count prepositions and in you know yeah, they, um, they say thirty hundred verbs you will write like like using feather of verse two do they count of and to or they don't yes, count? Yes, yes, that's considered a word. Even uh mm -hmm. Uh, is a word. Well, you, you would consider this a word. Mm -hmm. So if you say, uh, I have a dog, a cat, and a fish, this this sentence has one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. Because mm -hmm. uh is considered a word. Or an is a word, mm -hmm. the is a word, but yeah, mm -hmm. uh would be a word. Uh, prepositions, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me, did you have to take the IELTS or, or TOEFL exam? No, no. Uh, I'm uh, long ago in the, like, uh, I, I, I won't try, I, won't, I wanted to try, but then uh, nothing takes that. Uh, yeah, so. because uh, I'm a uh, university, the uh, Open University of Japan. Mm 